Hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jordana for those of you who are new here if you're new here please click subscribe so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve these voluminous curls on my hair using pipe cleaners so I found these at Dollar General and I also ordered a pack of the black ones online because um, the first time that I actually attempted pipe cleaner curls I used a bunch of neon ones and you know I couldn't really go anywhere without looking crazy with all this neon in my hair so I was like you know what it's time to order some ones that look like your hair color so that is one tip that I don't think I mentioned in this video that I do recommend it's buying like a pack of like all black ones or all brown ones or all blonde ones like depending on your hair without further ado let's get into the video okay guys so I'm gonna be showing you how to form the pipe cleaner shape that you need to achieve these curls so what I'm going to start by doing is obviously when they come in the pack they're obviously straight up and down. So what you want to do is you first want to just even them out together like so and then you're going to take it and kind of like make a loop like so and you want to kind of um the reason why I'm using two is because my hair is very thick so yeah, and if your hair is um, longer, I'm going to show you what you can do. But um, you're going to take this loop and then you're just going to kind of make a loop and then you're going to like twist it around. So if you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then you're just going to twist that to kind of like secure it, if that makes any sense. And now you have like... Um, your little loop that you can use to pull out of your hair when you're ready. For the rest of it, you just kind of want to twist them around like so, and you just kind of go like this. And once you get the hang of it, you'll start going pretty fast. And what I suggest you guys also do is you make like a bunch of them before you start your hair, so that when um, the process starts, it's much easier. But yeah, you're just going to keep twisting it down. like so now if your hair is longer than this what I would do is just I would just go ahead and take two more and just add it on there and begin to twist it around and down so that you could have a really long one but my hair is not quite there yet but those that's for those of you who hair are pretty long and I'm just gonna show you guys one more time so again you're just gonna make sure that your pipe cleaners are even like so and then you're just gonna take the two ends together and you're gonna loop them around and then you're just gonna twist it like this and you want to like leave enough space so that you're able to pull it out of your hair and then one thing you want to know is to like you really want to tuck the end in because it um, it does have like a wiry part which can kind of stick your scalp and then after doing that you're just gonna take them around and you're just gonna begin to twist And voila, you have your two pipe cleaners. So of course, like I said before, you're just going to do this with whatever color you choose, preferably black, brown, or whatever your hair color is. And yeah. Okay guys, so I'm just starting off by showing you my hair. This is actually an old pipe cleaner set that I had for about three weeks. And you know, I'm over here showing face, looking cute. Ooh, okay, kill him. 
but um, I haven't done a hair video in a while so I just was like having fun in the camera showing you my hair, my texture, everything like that. Okay, so this is my hair freshly washed and out of the shower. One tip that I would like to give is to wrap your hair in a t-shirt because it helps to reduce frizz. Um, as I was doing this, I realized that my background was black, so I went ahead and switched locations. Right here, I'm just showing you guys how long my hair is. I'm currently bra strap length, which is pretty crazy considering how short my hair was when I first started my lock journey. Okay, so these are all the products that I'm going to be using in my hair. First, I'm just going to spritz my hair to kind of get it damp again because my hair does soak up water even though I just came out the shower. And I'm going to be using the Stimulating Growth Oil with Pineapple and Guava from Tropical Roots as well as some almond oil. I love the smell that the Tropical Roots Oil gives my hair and I also use olive oil while I'm doing my wash routine. Comment down below if you guys would like to see a wash day routine and I'll definitely do that for you. Make sure that you moisturize those edges, the nape of the neck and all those sensitive areas. So here are the pipe cleaners that I'm going to use, but to show you guys on camera, I'm going to also be using the neon ones. So I started by putting my hair all up in one and then sectioning out two locks. Um, I like to use two locks per pipe cleaner because I just like the way that it works when I use two locks and I'm going to be using the lock grow by Jamaican mango and lime and I always apply that to my scalp it has like a methanol -y, um kind of feel to it so it makes my scalp feel nice and cool then I begin to palm roll or retwist my hair I'm not the best when it comes to retwisting my hair, but um, this is what works for me and this is what I do, so yeah. So in the back where my hair is kind of thin, I actually use three locks per pipe cleaner. So I started by taking the pipe cleaner and wrapping the ends of my hair in the same area like three or four times before I start to work my way down in a spiraling motion toward the end of the pipe cleaner. And it's not really that hard to see what I'm doing, but all you do is kind of just roll your hair on the pipe cleaner. And you want to make sure that you're doing it really tight and secure so that when you reach the end, your hair does not fall. So you want to make sure that you wrap it all the way to the end of the root of your hair. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tuck in the end through the little loop and just bend it so that it's nice and snug on your hair. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the steps that I just showed you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the lock roll to my scalp and then I'm going to retwist by palm rolling. Then I'm going to take the pipe cleaner and this time I had a lock that was longer than the other one so I just wrapped the longer lock on there first before I wrap the shorter one on there. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm just working my way up the pipe cleaner in a spiraling motion, making sure that I do it securely so that when I reach the end, the curl does not drop. Here I'm just showing you what your lock should look like on the pipe cleaner when you're almost done. When you reach your roots, what you're going to do is take the end of the pipe cleaner and you're going to bend it in a circle and then you're going to stick the little end into the loop and simply bend it. So I just quickly wanted to show you guys if you have any lock jewelry what to do. So I would recommend individually doing those locks on a pipe cleaner by themselves and just wrapping them three or four times around the base of the pipe cleaner before working your way up. And this ensures just that um, your lock doesn't, the curl on this lock doesn't drop and you know it's looser than the rest of um, the curls that don't have any jewelry on them. So this was my last one and I was so relieved that I was done because my hands were like literally about to fall off after this. So I'm just giving you guys a 360 of what my hair is looking like afterward. As you can see I have those like five neon colors in there that I use to just demonstrate on the video but for the most part I use the black pipe cleaners and I'm just going to spritz my hair with the tropical roots growth stimulating oil as well as their black castor oil on my edges because my edges have been going through a lot lately so yeah. <laughs> So after putting the oil on my hair, I just like to let my hair air dry for a couple of hours. You can also sit under the dryer if you would like, but I hate the dryer. So after that, I just go ahead and I put my satin cap on and I go to sleep. Not gonna lie, they're kind of a little bit uncomfortable to sleep with, but you know, beauty is pain. So yeah. <laughs> this is about two days later and the way that I take them out is just undoing them from that circle that they're in and making sure they're straight as possible before using the loop to just tug at it and slide my hair off of the pipe cleaner. So just be aware that um, not all of them may come out as easy. So you may have to um, twirl it around instead of just pulling it out straight out of the pipe cleaner like I had to do with this lock. So, that way you don't mess up your curls or your locks. So I'm going to be adding the tropical roots growth stimulating oil once again all over my hair and on my scalp and just working it in and I'm just going to begin positioning my hair in the way that I want it to be as well as just brushing out my edges and applying some edge control and you can separate your hair at this point if you would like to but I chose not to because I knew that I was going to have this style in for a while and I wanted it to drop naturally on its own.
once you have positioned your hair to your liking you're done thank you guys so much for watching remember to hit subscribe and follow me on instagram at your dad in a hole leave any video requests that you guys may have down below and yeah bye guys